Hi, I'm Dino Dalle Carbonara with SkiHunters.com and uh, we're here at the 2014 uh, Autosalon in front of the Nismo uh, GTR, which is a track-tuned 600 horsepower GTR. And we're just about to head off and uh, check out what other tuners are doing with the GTR. We're next to the Overtech GTR. Uh, what's interesting about this car is that they replace the whole uh, body with carbon fiber, so each panel is in dry carbon, uh, and it drops the weight uh, quite significantly. It's a completely new approach to you know extract more performance from the car, rather than just going for for more power. And the car is running the new Volk Racing T37 wheels in 20 inch, and they're finished off in a pretty cool color too. Okay, so we're here at the Trust uh, stand where we come to see the R35X. Uh, it's a pretty uh, wild looking machine. It has a wide body over fenders, front and, uh, and rear. Uh, lots of carbon fiber on the roof, the doors and the bonnet. Uh, but the actual special thing is that this car has been built for drifting. So it's no longer four wheel drive. It's been converted to rear wheel drive. Uh, runs a sequential transmission and uh, also has a thousand horsepower. So pretty powerful machine. Probably one of the most extreme cars of the show. The whole front bumper has been uh, redesigned. Uh, it's both uh, a mix of wild uh, kind of design and look with some functionality built into it. There's a series of louvers here built in. Uh, they're engineered to extract as much uh, hair, air from the, from the engine bay as possible uh, and also feed the turbos with uh, fresher air. Uh, it is built for drifting, so it does need to have a, a substantial amount of downforce up front. And it all meets up to the side, uh, the front over fenders, which are bolted onto the stock fenders. And they increase front track by about 30, 40 millimeters. So we're here with uh, Fina 6 Power, which is a tuning shop from Kyoto. And they built this uh, uh, rather special 35 for a customer of theirs who wanted to create a very uh, fast uh, high-speed machine. Uh, it's got uh, a stroker kit which boosts capacity to 4 liters. It's got bigger turbos and they've made this uh, custom uh, intake plenum here. Uh, the car was built to uh, participate in the speed challenge in Italy. So they shipped the car off to Italy last year uh, where it managed to achieve a top speed of 357 kilometers an hour at uh, Leonardo Ring in southern Italy. And uh, the whole body's been uh, customized suit. It's got their carbon fiber bumper, uh, lots of carbon fiber detailing around the car, uh, bigger wing, uh, carbon bonnet, and upgraded brakes, suspension, and wheels. So it's pretty much the whole complete package. Pretty incredible car. So we're here at uh, Top Secret, which is a very well-known tuner here in Japan, based out of Chiba. They've uh, recently finished this uh, time attack car. It's uh, been built for a circuit, so there's a lot of uh, uh, work that's been gone into giving it a good response and uh, a lot of power. It has 1,000 horsepower. Okay, so up front here we have uh, three big air intakes that have been opened up in the main bumper area. Uh, this is to feed more air towards the intercooler, which is also being replaced, and it's about that size, so lots more volume uh, of air to be cooled. Uh, there's a lot of uh, aero additions here on the splitter and the side canards here and the higher canards here. So there's, there's a lot of uh, front downforce is being generated by these uh, additional parts. So it's, it's the whole complete package, but unlike the other cars that we've seen so far, it's actually been uh, built for uh, circuit, so kind of a different discipline to what we've seen uh, so far. Okay, so we're here in front of the new 2014 GT500 Super GT car. Completely new car for this year, and a very exciting way to end this uh, GTR special look at uh, you know the coolest cars of uh, this year's Tokyo Auto Hope you enjoyed it, and I'm gonna get back to shooting.